The federal government calls its new passport design a celebration of national identity. But the opposition has a different description. Erasing Canadian history. There is history missing. And when you want to know where you're going, you have to know where you're from. The overhaul replaces historical moments introduced by the former conservative government with everyday scenes of nature. They erased Vimy Ridge to put in an image of a squirrel eating a nut. The Royal Canadian Legion calls the removal of the Vimy Ridge Memorial a poor decision. It represents great sacrifice, the kind of sacrifice that really led to our being able to use a passport and travel around the world today. The new travel document doesn't include any tributes to veterans. Even an image of Terry Fox is gone. So there's a couple images here. The MP for Nunavut says she's happy to see more diversity, but not at this cost. Both Terry Fox and veterans are very important uh, to our identity as Canadians. Outside the passport office, reaction mixed. I believe uh, that's part of our history, so I do believe it should remain. We should be able to bring happy, fun, new aspects to yeah, like all parts passport. of Canada, including passports. We're going to continue to deliver for the veterans every single day. The Liberals defended their redesign, pointing out the images need to change every 10 years to make the document harder to counterfeit. You should not read into it that there's some criticism or dissociation with our, our nation's heroes or our veterans. The new passport begins rolling out in the next few months, just as the current 10-year passports begin to expire. To deal with the surge, the government is launching a new online renewal. Canadians can pay their application fees and upload a photo on a secure government website. Olivia Stepanovich, CBC News, Ottawa.